So here we see a typical rolling forecast report. This is done using the Keras matrix, but it will also work with the Power BI matrix. So I just have the row hierarchies in this case, just a simple account group to account name hierarchy and the rolling forecast months. Uh, for normal users, likely just the periods for users that use a Keras, this will automatically generate the hierarchies as well so that you can do the aggregated entry as well. So if you want to, for example, change the, the total forecast value, you can click on this here or you can change it on the single month. It will, you can't change it on the, on the actuals here. So this doesn't allow you uh, a change, but on the forecast, you can change it. And this is controlled by the date parameter. Uh, with the carries, you can do this directly in the right back table. So we have a table forecast parameters, which is just a simple SQL table that comes in the SQL database that's included with the carries with the Azure SQL database. And the users can here edit any SQL table, particularly the ones that you generate in a carries, but also any other one. With the instant link functionality, you can also link nearly any data source from SharePoint, uh, other databases, uh, SSA systems like Salesforce, analysis services, and so on. Um, so you can edit the data in the system. In this case here, we have a, um, a validation from a list in another dimension that has all the dates. So if I want to change the cutoff date now to nine, I can just do this, go back to my report and here we'll see now the new rolling forecast, which goes now until uh, month eight. And then from nine onwards for the other forecasting periods. Again, if I want to edit anything, I can do it only now for the forecast periods. So to demonstrate how the DAX calculation works, so we have the visual here with the row and column elements. And then uh, for the values of the DAX calculation that calculates the rolling forecast, and it's very simple, it just checks if the period is less than the forecast parameter, show actuals. In this case, this would be this. If it's after, show the forecast. And I can also add uh, comments to this um, with uh, the Actaris comments visual, which is now stored for the particular period. So this was just a quick overview of rolling forecasts in Power BI. For any further questions, please feel free to contact us.